The worst affected received the least attention and national responses to HIV is fundamental to what we've seen in the Caribbean and to what I think is also going on globally. Um, if we look at men who have sex with men, for example, and you see that, that MSM have, uh, in many cases, exponentially higher uh, uh, rates of infection in the general population, yet they uh, receive very little or no funding. Because society thinks of those populations or those, those communities as disposable in the first place, they're, they are unethical, they are immoral, uh, they're engaging in behavior that is, that is socially unacceptable and undesirable. Um, it means that there's a perception that they deserve what, what they get. You, 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 if you didn't behave like this, if you weren't a homosexual, you wouldn't contract HIV. If you stopped using drugs, then you wouldn't contract HIV. So there's an implicit condemnation um, towards the issue uh, from, the, from the very beginning. So the willingness to invest in programs, the willingness to look at structural issues um, that, as I've just said, I think are fewerly epidemics, um, is simply not there. So you find at best uh, condom distribution programs, you find at best peer education programs, but some of the larger structural issues, the conditional issues, um, simply don't get addressed because people don't want to change society to be more accepting of these groups. They don't want to look at the implications of discrimination uh, and social exclusion, especially when it comes to bigger things like policy and, and, and legislation and so on. People become so attached to their homophobia that they are prepared to pay a great price for that homophobia. Um, and they're prepared to see the gay communities in their countries pay that price as well. Um, and it shows up in, in programming. The, the, the poor level of funding that goes to addressing those needs is simply a symptom of the larger, uh, um, in some places, uh, determination to exclude gay men and women from, from society at large. So for me, that is central. For further information on human rights, HIV AIDS, and to endorse now more than ever the joint statement, visit www.hivhumanrightsnow.org.